it's more hunting, man. We are Normans, child. We take what we want. Kingdoms by blood, villages by fire. Take him to our secret place. I will join you. The Saxons have fled, my lord. And their weapons are broken. Not so! I will never leave Loxy, my lord, Baron, and my arrows will never be broken! Catch him! Then hang him! Open. Every bush may hide a snare. No snares here, Captain. Use your feet, man. A rabbit snare won't hurt you. Uh, nothing here, Captain. These bushes are clear. Nothing on this side, Captain. Check every blade of grass. Make no mistake, these outlaws are more cunning than the fox. Look, they've missed one. John, this place is not safe for us. All clear on the side. John! Here, Captain. You again, Hubert. You have a nose for the smell of death. <laughs> Continue the search. Even if we cannot find these Saxon brats, we may yet starve them. Even Saxons cannot live on berries! took them all. They want to starve us. I'll make some porridge for you. Oh no! You greedy, greedy <laughs> It's ruined. Now we've no food, nothing at all. Then we must find some. How? When the Baron's men have taken all our snares, all our traps. The villagers are called sand. They would help. No, they have little enough to eat themselves. There is only one hunting place the Baron's men would never look for us. Loxy Castle itself. Rabbits. Do I keep men at arms to catch rabbits? But my lord, we are starving them out. They will die of hunger. But when, Captain? My Lord Baron cannot be patient forever. It takes time, Master Steward. But every day their stomachs are shrinking, and they grow more desperate.
Lady Marion's room. Great clearing, my lord. Now, between here and the river, we've taken a score of rabbits from Saxon snares. And here, we found a newly trodden path this very day. So you believe their camp is somewhere between the river and the great clearing? Aye, my lord. That's where we'll find them. It will be enough to use the men of the castle guard on regular patrols. Rabbit snares and filling in their traps. In time, no time! Always more time! Yet I tell you, Tybalt, that I will not tolerate these outdoors a moment longer! Prepare the horses! Don't just stand there, man! My lord, that's not possible. Perhaps you'll need more men. Perhaps I should beg Prince John to send an army of mercenaries or summon up my serfs from their grubby farms to help you. I need no help. When they get hungry, they'll become careless, take risks, and then I'll have them. Come, Master Cook. <laughs> it's hungry work searching the forest for outlaws. Let the Saxons starve to death, but we are Norman men-at-arms who fight best when our stomachs are full. <laughs> Fifteen! Fifteen pasties I baked this morning, and now I've only got ten and a half. What's a few pasties? What's to have us go hungry? Well, I'm going to complain to the Baron Steward. I'm going to do it straight away. Oh, Master Cook, wait, you're too hasty. Now, nah, the Baron himself. Nah, he's going to know what pigs are in his service. Your temper's too hot, Master Cook. Come, have some ale to cool it. No, eh? I've made up my mind. Oh, Master Cook. I'll keep watch for you. Will you tell me what I must do then, Master Steward? Because every time I turn my back, another one's gone. Well, that's not right, that one. Go on, tell him. Tell the worthy captain what's happened. <coughs> Fifteen pasties I've baked this day. Venison pasties, made with the most delicate herbs. You may bake the finest pasties in Christendom, Master Cook. What is that to me? That's what? But your pigs are soldiers. Have a care, Captain. The lawful penalty for theft is death by hanging. Go out for a few crumbs of food. I will see your kitchen, Master Cook. And if five pasties are missing, the thieves will be punished in full. Down here, sir. Oh,